guys welcome back to my channel nurse rachel and crafts today i have a new release from down art club so this one y'all is called cabin you guys isn't that beautiful i am in love y'all so this is by the mcneil studio and they only do christmas and winter themed paintings and y'all, they get it right every time. So this is a square diamond painting. It is a big one. It's 101 by 70 centimeters or 39.8 by 27.6 inches. Stunning. So this is what else the McNeil Studio has with Diamond Art Club. With Diamond Art Club, if your diamond painting is a square, it's going to come in a blue box with this blue square, blue stripe. And if it was round, it will come in a pink box. So yeah, y'all, I saw this one and this was a five out of five for me. I'm trying to only get paintings, y'all, that are five out of five, but... <sighs> Sometimes I'm not, some weeks I'm not as successful. But this time I was, y'all. And this, this one here checked all my boxes. I absolutely love it. So yeah, it's beautiful. Did y'all get this one? Canvas here. So in your box, you're going to get a tool kit. This is made for a square diamond painting. That means you'll get a pair of tweezers. Here's what else is included. You're gonna get a applicator pen, number four multi-placer, a grippy, two pieces of heart-shaped wax, a clear white boat, and extra baggies. You'll get this smaller sticker that you can put on the outside of your box for storage. You can put it in a log book, whatever you like. rolled inside your canvas will be step-by-step -step instructions there is a coupon code in here there are tips in here you'll get this large sticker sheet the entire thing is a sticker look at this y'all isn't that beautiful it looks so peaceful and tranquil i love it beautiful so on your sticker sheet will be a start end date the info about the painting and then all your colors and symbols are over here there are 53 colors with this one and it looks like four ab's so with diamond art club if the number is under 150 it's an aurora borealis diamond that's a diamond with an iridescent coating on it to make it sparkle more. Your stickers are pre-cut. And extra stickers over here. Your drills are labeled. So if you like to store them apart from your canvas, you will know what goes to what. I'm loving all the purple too. I don't I didn't realize it would have so much purple in it. And I love that. Okay, let's see. Now since this is a bigger one, I will have to move it around a bit to get it all in frame. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, it feels different too, y'all. Like, I don't know. I've, I've opened a lot of these um, paintings from Diamond Art Club, and I don't know. It feels, it feels more stiff. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It feels more stiff to me. 
Wow. Okay. So it's not um, rolling back as easy as it normally does. Normally I can just rub over it like this and it'll, it'll lay flat. So what I'm going to have to do is roll this back. I'll be right back. All right. So yeah, y'all, that's so odd. Um, I rolled it back and yeah, normally it only takes a few minutes for uh, Diamond Art Club's canvases to flatten out. But this one, y'all, it it's still with the waves, y'all. So I tried to flatten it out as best I could. But yeah, it definitely feels stiffer. It's still, you know, soft. It has DAC sig uh, signature softness, but it feels like thicker and stiffer. So yeah, let me just move this over so you can see this end of it. Beautiful. I love how um, the water uh, is reflecting, or maybe this is ice, I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, it's reflecting the animals in the water and the sunset. So beautiful. Beautiful Christmas tree up here. And the trees back there, you can tell you're in the woods love it this absolutely stunning uh house back here log cabin love it i love the family here dad mom bambi <laughs> And this is a cardinal, right, you guys? Let me know if I'm wrong. But it seems like with um, the McNeil Studio, their paintings will always have, or more than likely, it will have a cardinal in them. Love it. Now move it down on this end. Absolutely beautiful. And now that I'm looking at it, clearly there's a lot of purple in it. But I don't know, it's like our eyes do that trick on us where, you know, we know this is supposed to be white. You know, we know that it's white in real life. But so, yeah, I don't know why I thought it would have way more white. But no, no, it's it's purple. Beautiful. Love it. All right, y'all, I'm going to pan this for you. gaze upon this beautifulness I'm going to talk more about the canvas so Diamond Art Club does use pour glue they also use material called tarpaulin that allows for their canvases to usually self flatten within a couple minutes they also put a velvet coating on the backs of their canvases that makes them very soft and plush they do a type of surging to their edges along with scalloping to prevent any fraying which we love on the bottom left will be a thumbnail. 
the name of the painting, the size, and the artist. You'll always get two schematics or legends with a DSC canvas. They put them up here in the upper left and then one in the lower right. And Diamond Art Club's canvases maintain their color saturation so you do not have to worry about your colors fading. So I'm going to pull this beauty up so we can check the drill for it. So your canvas and your diamonds are under a lifetime warranty. So if you come across an issue with your canvas, such as blurry symbols or um, it's not sticky or, you know, the quality is just not right, they will either give you a refund or send you a new canvas. And if you run out of diamonds or if you spill them, they will send you more. So I love that. I love that they're willing to send you more diamonds even when it's not their fault, you know? So I love that about them. They always go above and beyond uh, for their customers. So that's amazing. All right, let's check out those diamonds. So Diamond Art Club does use resin for their drills, which we love. We know that's the best uh, material that you can use for diamonds. Diamond Art Club is also making their own diamonds now. So that means for square drills, each diamond will have 13 facets instead of a mix of 13 and 9. And that's going to make your diamonds more sparkly. And now there will be almost no trash in them. It is a transition period. So in your kit, every color may not be the brand new diamonds yet, but uh, there should be some in there though. So I'll call some numbers, but not all. We're going to get four bags of 3746, and this is such a pretty purple. Two bags of 3799, and two bags of 158. Three bags of 938. Two bags of 758. And three bags of 340. Three bags of 792. We're going to get three bags of 310. Now, you guys, I've worked with the new square 310s from Diamond Art Club, and they are, in my opinion, the best color that DAC makes now. They are definitely the best square drills on the market but y'all there is literally almost no trash in these you guys and the sparkle is phenomenal absolutely wonderful quality you guys wonderful so don't be afraid of 310 y'all not from diamond art club so you have five bags of this four bags of 155 three bags of 3807 Three bags of 3371. This was another color that I used to dread, you guys, because of the amount of trash that were in them. But y'all, it's the same as the 310. There is literally almost no trash in these, you guys. Absolutely wonderful quality. Two bags of 945. And two bags of 779. Two bags of 37.78. Here's our first AB, 123. It's like a orange, like a brighter orange. So pretty. So here's the spark over regular diamond. And then that rainbow iridescence is what you get with an AB. Stunning. This will be some nice shading, right? 434, 435. That's pretty. Here's 
Here's our second AB 141, that beautiful white color. Love that. Here's our third AB 134, beautiful green. And then right next to it is our last AB 124. I really love this color pink. That is so pretty. Wow. We're going to have some more shading here. Look at this. 915, 718, 3607. Wow. That's going to be pretty. Okay. Let's see where the ABs go. All right. Again, there are four ABs with this one. The first AB is that pink color, the 124. All right, so I'm gonna move it over this way and I'm seeing it here in this tree. Now, because of the size of this painting, I may not catch all the ABs, but I will try. So that lighter pink in the tree and then I'm gonna look and see if I see it anywhere else. And I'm not seeing it, y'all. Let me look in the sky. No, I don't see that light pink anywhere else. So just in the tree. The second AB is that orange, the 132. That's labeled as number two. And I'm seeing it here in the water or ice, <laughs> whichever one it is. It is next to a color that's pretty similar, 742. So this color here is going to be a mixture of either 742 or the orange AB. And we love that. It's here and there, up in here, all of that there, here, all of this you see you guys is gonna be a mixture. I like that they're using it as uh, lighting to represent the light, so that's nice. And here, a mixture in here, and I don't see any in the tree. The third AB is that green color, the 134. That's labeled as number three, and it's the green in the tree here. So the green you see there, I'm going to move it again just to see if I can see it anywhere else. And I'm not seeing it. So that's not a lot of that color at all. Diamond Art Club does provide 20% more of each color diamond. So you can definitely add more if you would like to. Because yeah, only the pink and the green is here in the tree. And not even a lot of it. The fourth AB is the white, the 141. That's labeled as number four. So let's see, I'm going to start down here at the bottom and it's, it's here. It is next to a color. It looks like it's similar, but it's more yellow. So yeah, the white that you see here, there's some there. So yeah, the white and the water here, all the twinkles in here, the very center is going to be white. A, B. I'm going to pull this down a bit. The little specks, the twinkles, that's going to be white A, B. I am seeing some on the branch here. The other color is a gray. But yeah, just a, a line of it here. It's here. It's in the very center of the light. A couple here, one there, a cluster of four here, in the center there. So yeah, all along here. In the very center, there's some in the windows. If I didn't point there, it's there. You would think it would be this line up here, but that's actually like a pink color. Here. And then sprinkle throughout the tree. And if I didn't point here, there's some along here on top of the logs. So yeah. 
So yeah, y'all, what do you think? Is this too big for you guys? Now, for me, this used to be too big for me, y'all, but I keep mine rolled now, so they are way more manageable. I only keep a small portion exposed. I keep it rolled, so I don't get intimidated by the size. So yeah, if you've not tried rolling it, maybe try that. But I could definitely understand you not wanting to do one just because you don't want to spend a bunch of time working on the same painting. That I definitely understand. Um, for that, I do keep another painting going at the same time. Just so that I don't get burned out of working on the same one. But yeah, if it's just like a size thing because you don't know how to store it or work on it, I would definitely recommend rolling it, you guys. So yeah, this one is still available and it is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it so much, y'all. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your support. Thank you. And until next time, y'all. Bye.